In this video we're going to look at putting white space between paragraphs. Very often if somebody wants white space between paragraphs all they'll do is they'll put an extra line in such as this. I'm going to turn the count paragraph codes off so you can see what's going on. Now there are disadvantages with putting blank lines in, not least of which is that you can't really control the height without having to go through and manually format how the, the font in each of these blank paragraphs. So that's not really a very satisfactory way of doing it. So let's look at a better way of doing it. So first of all, for one paragraph only, um, suppose I want to put a bit extra space um, above and below this paragraph. What I'm going to use is the par uh, Format Paragraph dialog box, which in 2007 I get by hitting the dialog box launcher at the bottom of the paragraph group. In 2003, you look on the Format menu, Format Paragraph, and you get exactly the same dialog box. Now I'm going to move this up a bit so we can see some of the features in a sec. Um, the important thing here that we're looking at today is this spacing. So how much space do we want before and after? Well, maybe I want six points before and six points after. And you can see I can just type into these boxes or I can use the sc uh, scroll buttons to uh, increase and decrease. OK. And hopefully what you saw there was that the gap between this paragraph and the ones above and below has now got slightly bigger than the other ones uh, in the document. So that's a, a sort of a manual way of doing one paragraph. That's all very well, but we don't really want to have to do that manually for every paragraph. I'm just going to undo that. So what if we want to change the spacing on every paragraph in the document? Well, this is where we start coming across the concept of styles. On the home group, uh, a home tab in 2007, you'll see this styles group, and here's a list of all the styles. Um, in 2003, you have to go to the Format menu and choose Format Styles, and you'll get a, a, a pane on the right-hand side with a list of these. So suppose I want to change the normal style. Uh, I can right-click on it on this dialog box and choose Modify. You'd have to do the same in the, um, in the Styles Task pane in 2003. So here's the Modify Style dialog box, and you can see there's a lot of options on it. We're not going to look at, in a great deal of depth at, it, at uh, many of those today. What I'm interested in is the paragraph spacing. So I'm going to go to Format Paragraph. So that's the button at the bottom of that Modify Style dialog box. And what you'll see is that we get the exact same paragraph dialog box. However, anything we do to this applies to every uh, paragraph that has the normal style assigned to it. So I'm going to change this to 12 point, hit OK and OK, and as you can see we now have spacing before and after every paragraph changing in the document. Uh, so there we are, white space between paragraphs. If you want more information on styles have a look at our website www.ooth.co.uk now, um, we'll look at styles in a bit more detail because, as you probably may have noticed, when you click right-click Modify, there are an enormous number of things that you can do with styles. Basically, the idea is that you set your document up so that all you've got to do is pick the style you want and type. So, come back to styles, www.ooth.co.uk. But if you want to do spacing in paragraphs, it's simply Format, Paragraph, and here we are, Spacing Before and After. 